I can see a lot of little metal shavings in there. I can't hardly hold my thumb on that. I don't think we got a leak in the hose. Now we'll take her for a quick test drive. Come back and check for leaks. Got a problem with a 2007 Toyota Camry with a power steering leak. The oil's running out, running down, and getting it all dirty, oily down here. Stuck a rag under here to try to keep that from happening temporarily. The concern is that it can get on the serpentine belt, which has squeaked a little bit. I put a clamp on this hose six months ago. This clamp here changed out the other one in hopes that that would fix it, and it didn't. So what I'm going to do is try to replace just this hose, not the whole line. The whole line is 116 bucks at the dealer. The whole line at an auto parts store is $85. But I think I can get this hose, and it's not bent too severely, so it won't kink if I can find the same size hose. And this is the low pressure side. And if I run my finger under here, you can probably see that's wet. So the leak is either coming from this hose being cracked under here, or possibly that the reservoir has a crack down here, but I highly doubt that. Yeah, I don't feel anything down here. It's just at the connection here. So I'm gonna pull this hose off, run over to the auto parts store, and see if I can pick something up similar size because you can't just, or I haven't found just this hose. They want you to buy the whole line. I'll pull that off and we'll see what we can do. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is remove the cap and suck out as much as I can. I'm gonna pull the overflow tank for the radiator and set that aside. Gives me some room to work under here. That clamp wasn't completely tight. Might as well take it off and check it. There we go. I'll just drain that. All right, our dripping has stopped. So I can go ahead and pull this out. I can see a lot of little metal shavings in there. Just tiny, but it's probably good to change this fluid anyways. The other end of that hose is right down here. And I'm gonna get a uh, pliers, just pinch that, slide it down, so it'll release the hose. There we got it. It may be that all I need is a tighter clamp up here on the reservoir. This, this hose looks pretty good to me. I'm going to put some pressure on this hose and see if I can find a leak. Just push, push it on my air gun here. I can't hardly hold my thumb on that. I don't think we got a leak in the hose. I think I just need some good clamps. I cannot find a leak. I don't see a crack anywhere. But it was definitely leaking. It was a mess there. So I also took the reservoir off, capped these off, and put pressure on the reservoir. No leaks there. But I definitely had a leak here on the return line. So I'm going to replace these clamps with these hose clamps that I can hand tighten and I had a hose clamp on the top but it was really too big and too long so I'm hoping this will fix it I'll install it and let you know how it works and don't forget to refill your reservoir this 2007 Toyota Camry takes ATF Dextron 2 or 3.
Now we'll take her for a quick test drive, come back and check for leaks. Just got back from the test drive and this is where my leak was, right under here. You just rub your finger across here and it'd be all wet and we're dry as a bone. Good news! So if you have a problem with power steering leak, I definitely would change out that hose clamp if you feel it wet under here on the return hose before you go to all the trouble of doing what I did. And I hope this will save you some trouble. If this video is a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online. Thank you.